Hello, my name is Sid Alexandria, and today we are going to be talking about a very raw and real subject. And I actually filmed a different version of this video over a week ago, and I think it was just kind of destiny or fate or whatever you want to call it. It was meant to be that I waited. I didn't post it. I edited it. It was all ready to go, but I didn't save it to my phone. I never posted it on YouTube and I waited a few days and guess what happened? I had weird weather near me and I had actually had a weird weather situation a few weeks ago, a few months ago. I live in southeastern Michigan and the Canadian fires, don't really want to call them wildfires, but the smoke the chemicals, whatever you want to call it, that was making the air smell like not even a bonfire, but just not right, chemical burning smell, uh, that affected me pretty hard. Detroit had some of the worst air quality in the world, literally just a little while ago. And then now uh, we had some crazy lightning in particular and some crazy high wind speeds and tornadoes pop up near me uh, just a couple of days ago. So this is like hitting home for me more. The video that I had created, almost posted, was more specifically geared towards Hawaii, but I wanted to shift that more towards weird weather in general. And I want to say that yes, naturally, we are in this time where naturally on our planet, the, the poles are shifting. They could shift any second. The North and South Pole could be somewhere else any second scientifically. The planet is going through a very charged pack of space. We, we've been doing this for a while. I'm sure you guys know about the ascension, about this powerful time on Earth, on Terra, on Gaia, whatever you want to call our planet. Like, we're going through a really powerful, a really transformative revolution time right now. And yeah, like, crazy weather naturally is happening because our planet's vibration is rising and that allows for these ascension symptoms, kind of like when we awaken to spirituality more, when we become more open-minded, when we, when we become more aware of our consciousness, and we step into these new and evolved belief systems, we get ascension symptoms in our body, right? We think we have fibromyalgia. We, we think we're nauseous. We think we have headaches. We think we're, we got the sweats. We think we have ringing in our ears. And those are ascension symptoms. What happens when our planet is going through an ascension? She, she quakes. She has earthquakes. She, she has these weird hot and cold weather. She has these gusts of wind. She has these floods. She has these fires. Like natural crazy weather happens. But what else do we have going on right now? Non-natural weather man-made weather, weather warfare that has been created by governmental systems on our planet. That is real as well. That is just as real. And these crazy weather scenarios, it's not all natural, okay? So we had things, even like trains derailing, which isn't exactly weather, but the effects of it affected our ecosystem and affected sort of similar to our weather. It affected our ecosystem. It affected our water, our food, our air. That falls into the same category, I feel like, um, as this other man-made weather. So we've been having floods. We've been having wildfires. Uh, and we've, we've been having crazy winds. All of this sort of thing. It has been disclosed in documents. It's been disclosed by whistleblowers. I believe it's on CIA declassified documents online that you can look up on whatever search engine that you choose to use. Uh, but you can see that we have the technology, uh, well, governments, high up people in these uh, elite groups have the technology to cause earthquakes in certain places. They have the ability to 
cause fires, cause floods. They have the ability to control how much snow, how much rain, how much wind we have. They have the ability to control the weather. They are using weather warfare. They are targeting certain points on our planet who have high vibrations. They're targeting communities who are vulnerable to this weather. They're, they're going for these high vortex places on our planet Maui, for example, is a great example. Like I said, the video I almost posted was geared mainly towards what was happening in Maui. And it's it's hard to navigate when you see online these pictures, which a lot of them are fake pictures. They're from the Hawaiian New Year and there's fireworks. They're from wildfires in California. They're just not the actual pictures from this event. Um, but then you have some pictures that are probably genuine because I had a client who lives on the big island, so a neighboring island to Maui, and she has family in Maui, and she says, it's fishy. Something's obviously going on there, and they are being targeted. And Hawaii has been targeted by the U.S. government for many years. We, the U.S. government claimed Hawaii as a U.S. territory when legally dictated by the world government, it is actually not. And I'll link some, some information so you can check that out. But um, no, the, the U.S. doesn't actually own Hawaii. It is like its own native land and the U.S. has just been falsely claiming it for so long. But like I said, that's just one example. And this is not to invoke fear. This is not to say, hey, if you live in one of these earth chakra points, as people call them, as I called them in a very recent YouTube video, actually, uh, before these Maui fires, but powerful, high energy places on the planet. I'm not saying to watch out, but I'm saying, yes, they are being targeted, um, but just really so many places in general. I mean, I live in southeastern Michigan, and that's not a known energy vortex, but Michigan does have very, like, magical high energy places within it. It also has some pretty low energy places within it, but so many places do. It's just, I don't know what exactly is happening. No one knows exactly what's happening, but we also all know exactly what's happening. If you catch my drift, it's hard for us as humans in this environment to tap into our all knowing self, but we do have that all knowing self. And we know that something massive is going on and we know that we don't want to rely on the government anymore we want to step more into these self-sufficient communities and I am going to continue to preach on this so hard because it is so so important but I just wanted to say that yes more more crazy weather is coming a lot of my time, a lot of the times when I do readings for people, they ask me, Sid, what is with this shift from 3D to 5D? And and I say like, yes, it's real. Yes, there's going to be these certain things we have to get through in order to get to that. And there's really two different paths it can go. Of course, there's all of these branches within these two major paths. But if you're looking in terms of big picture, two different outcomes, we can step into this new earth uh, gradually uh, using more of like trading with neighbor type mindset, more small businesses, more decentralized money system, businesses, all of that. And we can kind of step forward into it like that gradually possibly. But really the, the more major path that I see is that there's going to be more challenges in the way. We're still going to do all of that stuff, um, but there there's going to be some stuff in the way. So that's like a little path that it might be super peaceful and they'll just kind of give up and let us do our thing. But let's call it the government. Really, it's, it's not just the government. It's big corporations. It's the Illuminati. It's like whatever you want to call it. The people in charge... Uh, they, they don't want to just like let us do that peacefully. So there's going to be lots of crazy weather. There's going to be some possibly like wild events and there might be apocalyptic situations, but I do think we're going to overcome them. We're going to get through them. 
and we're gonna enter this new earth because so many people want this so many people are like ready for this there's a lot of people who don't even understand like what what that means they aren't into they aren't into spirituality as much they're more realistic they're more like I have to go to work I don't have time to get into this like I am I am working so I can pay for my house, so I can pay for my food, so I can pay for the poison in my food and my hygiene products, uh, and I don't have time to think about this. And really, they don't agree with the government, but they just are working so much for them that they don't have time to realize this. And it's like, that's okay. But once this is more readily accessible knowledge, once this alternative way of living this more self-sufficient way of living is more accessible to people so many people are going to get on board with this and it's not going to be a piece of cake but like it's not going to be the most difficult thing you know like it's doable it really is but so I just you know lately whenever I talk about anything my mind always goes back to this we have to be self-sufficient idea because it's so important like I keep talking about I want to like just <laughs> make that point super clear to you guys but this video is about wild weather and that's like a main part of what we have to get used to and when I say get used to I mean just like have our bodies be tested have our bodies get more adapt um and be prepared for weather situations like have a survival plan have a little bit of survival gear like have some survival skills at least okay i'm not saying you have to go out and buy gear i do want to do a video in the near future on like what stuff i have and possibly like what i want to get for my birthday and christmas what i'm asking my family for because saying that i don't want anything doesn't work with them um they always want to get me a little something which i'm so lucky and blessed that i have that but so yeah i would love to do a video on that in the future because that's something i've been really into uh the past three years now but just just knowing a little bit that that can go a long way in a survival situation uh in a shit hits the fan situation s h shit s h t f situation <laughs> um like what's the abbreviation and just having at least some sort of plan in your mind at least is gonna help a lot in that situation and i just i just wanted to say that like we need to go into this excited we need to go into this thinking that like yeah, crazy weather is going to continue to happen. That's, you know, hope for the best, expect that. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Expect the worst, but you don't have to go to the worst possibility, but like expect the realistic stuff to happen and obviously hope for the best. However, it's an exciting thing. Like, it doesn't have to be scary. Like, this is... You can look at life like it's, like it's a TV show, like it's a movie, and like you're the main character. And this is what we agreed to. You agreed to spice it up a little bit. Everyone on Earth right now signed up for like the ultimate spice. And this, this is it, honey. Like this is what we came for. So let's like have some fun with it. Don't just ride this out in misery. Like at least be like, okay, get pumped up about it. Because they're pulling this crap. They're pulling this weather warfare because... They're pulling onto their last little strings right now, okay? They know so many people are waking up to the truth. They know so many people don't agree with the government, don't trust the government, don't want anything to do with the government. Like, we want something different. We want something better. And they know that. And they're just, they're pulling this stuff to try to make people live in fear. They're pulling this fear agenda it's the same thing with like this little bit of et disclosure that we've been getting i'll link in the description my video to that which is pretty recent as well just a couple weeks ago but this is kind of the same concept but instead of like oh possibly fear the ets this is like oh fear the weather how messed up is that that like they are making us literally fear 
the weather. So they want us to put trust into them. They want us to give our taxpayer dollars to like defend us from this bad weather that our taxpayer dollars are paying to make. It's, it's just wild. And like going back to this thing in Maui, because that's very relevant in the news as well as the Canadian fires um, that's relevant. And it's like, there's a lot of conspiracy theories and a lot of them are true. And it's like, there might be multiple things at play here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might be, yes, there's one truth, but like there could be a lot of different little truths that are adding up to this one truth. It's kind of like religion, how it's like, yes, there's a little bit of truth in all of that and it's adding up to this one greater truth. It's kind of like that. So be weary of what you see online. Don't believe everything. Don't believe me just because you like me and I'm talking about this. You need to think for yourself and get your own proof on this. And that's why I decided to refilm this video. Even in the other video I made more geared towards Maui, I wasn't really saying all of this specific stuff like what I read in articles because I'm like, I don't even know what I agree with about the alarm system and it not burning certain colors of things and the rich people who have houses nearby. And it's like, I don't really want to talk about all that because the bigger picture is there's weird weather all around our planet right now. Some is natural, some is not. And just simply be aware of that. That's all I wanted to say, okay? And you can do your own digging on more of the specifics if you want to, but I would recommend just tapping into it yourself and seeing what you feel, talking to your higher self, talking to Mother Earth, because that is a very real thing that every one of us can do. And if you're someone who has trouble meditating and who has trouble like getting information from your higher self and you kind of second guess yourself like is that real is that my imagination uh, and you second guess your intuition or you just you simply like cannot meditate no matter how, how hard you try laying in bed or something I I tell people this too is go outside if you can if the weather is nice enough don't get frostbit but put your feet in in the ground in the dirt in the grass or at least simply look out your window at a tree or the sun or something like that can do a lot that's the best way to start meditating me when i'm in my like work mode taking care of my sun mode and it's it's hard for me to meditate i don't lay in my bed and meditate anymore sometimes i'll lay on the floor and meditate because that's where i sleep now is on the floor and i love it it's by choice um and sometimes i'll meditate a little bit like that but usually whenever i try to meditate it's just like sid you already know what to do so go out and do it like don't bother <laughs> like you already know and i'm like okay great i would like some clarification though but something that that always works every single time is going outside talking to the sun talking to the trees trees communicate i have a video on that as well it's through the mycelium and the fungus and the roots and it connects to your feet and it travels up through you because your feet absorb stuff so easily and it's like we we are perfectly designed created manifested like that and we can get the wisdom from the trees who have been here a lot longer a lot of the trees a lot longer than a lot of us and it's it's okay to get information from them they have our best interests i i rarely find a mean tree <laughs> but when we connect with mother earth and ask her and ask our higher self always run all information through your higher self even if you're talking to trees but ask yourself because you know but i just i just wanted to say that i know this is a more spiritual take on this whole situation um and i am very into the science of it but when there is not a reliable source i cannot talk about the science behind it and i have to go more towards the spiritual side that is still scientific because your intuition is real and that's proven through basic energetic vibrational science i believe but i just i just wanted to say this 
Um, this was longer than I really expected it to be, but I hope this, this was a good raw and real chat with you guys. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for listening. Um, if you want to talk to me about stuff, my email is sidalexandriaegypt at gmail.com. If you would like a reading, you can email me as well. But I, this just had to be said, um, I was going to talk about some other stuff. I wanted to do like a beginner's guide to astrology this episode because I do have a list of hundreds of videos that I want to do and that was what was on the list. But um, because of recent events, Maui specifically, because that was just talked about so much, Canada was talked about so much and just like there's wildfires like everywhere in California and there's been floods in like the Middle East and I believe South America and it's just been it's been wild for the past couple of decades and it's like we've really only been recording the weather for I mean that we remember that we can look back on at least I'm sure ancient people like kept track of the weather to some extent or they remember you know when my parents or my grandparents were this age they said something happened but we've only had a real like precise record of the weather the past like 100 200 years once again i know it goes back further but how accurate really is that you know what i'm saying it's really just been in the past few decades that it's been super super precise in my opinion and it's been crazy and the last few years have been even crazier and it's like we really don't have that much to base it off of once again we just have an inner knowing within us that we're in this transformative time and I really do truly believe that and I just I want to say let's be excited and have fun with it you know like this is a sign that we're moving in the right direction I believe they're pulling all their last little strings now and they're going to be some big strings that they've been waiting to pull but we're ready for it and we can handle it and let this be exciting don't let yourself get into the fear of this because this is what we came for peace <laughs>